Hey guys, it's Dylan from Chess Lifestyle, and today we're going to be going over my list for the top five most instructive chess YouTube channels. Today we're going to be going over the most instructive chess YouTube channels, which are aimed at making you a stronger player. And I know, I know, there are tons of chess YouTube channels that have the potential to make you a stronger player, and the market is saturated right now with uh, amazing content from all over the world. But as someone who has spent an ungodly amount of hours on this stuff, uh, I think I am decently well qualified to give you my opinion on which of these channels has been the most helpful to me and uh, has the potential to help you as well. So let's go ahead and jump right into number five. Coming in at number five, we have Power Play Chess. This channel is the brainchild of English Grandmaster Daniel King. My name is Daniel King and I'm a chess grandmaster from England. See? Besides sporting a chess piece as his last name, King is known for his long history as a chess promoter and prolific content producer. He works closely with Chess Base to produce videos, often several times a week, covering the latest high-profile events in an instructive manner. He is the OG Agadmator, but does more than simply rattle off the moves. His videos date back to as early as 2012, when he covered the Anand Gelfond World Championship match. Daniel King is known for his attacking style and expertise, and you will get a flavor of that in his commentary. What happens if the rook moves? Then white can just crash through the middle of the board. So at the moment white is a piece down, but actually once this happens, opening up this diagonal, and don't forget this one dropping back here, it is absolutely fatal. And this series of 99 second interviews is uh, pretty hilarious. What is going through his mind? My apartment. I've heard great things about his Power Play DVD series, which covers how to attack the enemy king. He's also a professional coach, which is evident in his videos. Also, he looks like a Disney prince. So there's that. Power Play Test is actually a pretty recent find for me, and I'm very excited to dive deeper into their vast trove of videos, um, which I hope will help sharpen my tactics. Okay, so now it's time for number four. Chess Network. The mysterious Jerry, never showing himself on camera, is a self-taught American national master. Jerry was among the first chess YouTubers to hit the scene way back in 2007, and since has amassed a huge following of 415k subscribers, the most subs on this list. Jerry is another instance of one super passionate individual who has made it his mission to use YouTube to share his knowledge with others. He analyzes games from a lot of top level tournaments, famous games from the past, and otherwise significant or noteworthy modern games. I particularly enjoy his commentary on games between Alpha Zero and Stockfish. Jerry is very likable and easy to listen to, articulate but unpretentious, and he's great at conveying his love for the game by pausing and giving vivid and thorough evaluations of critical moments in the game. These pawns, what do they all have in common? Well, they're all light squares. Guess who's influenced? This clown on A6, what's his future? Okay, this diagonal, this diagonal, this diagonal, no to all three. I don't see what he does for the rest of the game. That's the compensation. White has space with the e5 pawn, and this board is soon to be cut in half, and white is going to be able to attack on the king side and show that my light square bishop, his presence is felt. Fun fact, Jerry actually taught me how to mate with two bishops first king and bishop and knight first king. A large majority of his videos are titled Tuesdays and other Blitz matches, but if he made more instructive content, he would probably be number one on my list. Jerry's clear and articulate style is very appealing to me, especially as uh, a self-taught chess player uh, trying to improve. I do wish he realized his strength a little bit more as a coach because he doesn't make as much instructive content as I'd like him to, but the instructive content he does produce is incredibly well articulated and well worth checking out for club players of most levels. Okay, so let's move on to number three. Ginger GM. Always nice to shout out a fellow Ginger. English GM Simon Williams is widely loved for the entertainment value he brings to his instructive content. Known for his dynamic, attacking style of play and his banterous commentary. This is a very interesting and double-edged opening. I'm going to get Harry going. Come on, son. As soon as my opponent goes G3, Harry is off. He's off like a ferret up a tunnel. Like a ferret up a tunnel. Simon's channel boasts an eclectic mash of videos, including analysis of his own games, coverage of top-level games, chess challenges, streams, guest appearances, opening lessons, and tutorials for how to think like a grandmaster. 
While his instructive content is geared more towards, say, the 12 to 1600 range, it is presented in a way that is useful for players of all levels. If you are looking to pick up an aggressive new opening weapon, Simon is sure to have something in his arsenal that will suit you. Having lived in London, there was a noticeable increase in the number of Dutch defenses I was facing, and I believe Simon is the culprit. Also, the art on his channel is bonkers. This is actually terrifying. Simon Williams is a great guy, I like him a lot. He's a, a great player, great coach, great ambassador for the game, and I highly recommend checking out his channel as well as his day by days. Okay, moving on to number two. John Bartholomew. International master John Bartholomew is the quintessential chess good guy. He is universally loved throughout the community for his friendly nature, humble attitude, and for making things easy and fun to understand for his viewers and students alike. Bartholomew is a co-founder of Chessable, which has just partnered with Chess24, so consequentially the content he produces is in line with those allegiances, but in no way does this affect the quality of his content. Like Jerry from Chess Network, he plays a lot of Blitz, but John is a paragon of good habits in chess. He religiously analyzes his games and methodically works through tactics and rating ladders. But to me, it just seems a lot easier to play white here, especially when Black Castles and you get this ready-made attack with the knight on f5. What was the Kasparov quote? If I have a knight on f5, nobody can stop me. That's what this position felt like. This is the pawn break idea, right? I can try to play g5 and attack two points. We were talking about this concept earlier. When you attack two points like that, knight on f6, pawn on h6, by necessity, you're going to get to capture something or your opponent will capture you, and you'll get open lines as a result. When you're pawn storming your opponent's king, it's really good if you can get two points of attack. He is great at coherently thinking out loud, which makes even his blitz games instructive to watch. For beginners, his series Chess Fundamentals is great, but there's not a single video on his channel that isn't a delightful insight into the mind of a strong IM. I ran into John Bartholomew in London while I was volunteering for the World Chess Championship uh, in 2018. But he was playing some Blitz with some of his fans. Uh, he had quite a long line, so didn't get a chance to say hi or introduce myself, but um, the content he does produce is fantastic. He's very articulate, very uh, accessible. Um, he knows how to explain things to uh, viewers of all levels, and I can't recommend him highly enough. All right, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, the number one most instructive chess YouTube channel. Yep, you might have guessed it. The St. Louis Chess Club. Okay, I'm just going to read from the description because it encapsulates the channel perfectly. The Chess Club in Scholastic Center of St. Louis, which actually is now just called the St. Louis Chess Club, brings in a rotation of the top players in the country to fill the role of resident grandmaster. These top players present lectures to our chess club members each week, and we offer everything from kids and adult beginner classes to advanced lectures featuring in-depth grandmaster analysis. We, we capture these lectures and share them on YouTube in an effort to make the game of chess more accessible and more fun. Okay, so it's no surprise given the Singfield finances, but regardless, so many things make this the standout choice for the number one pick. The enormous variety of world-class lecturers they bring in, the variety of playing strengths the videos appeal to, the huge variety of the themes covered, the all-star commentary team for the world's foremost events, the expert production value, all bases are covered by the St. Louis Chess Club. Basically, for whatever you'd like to learn, there's a related video. I lived a block away from the club for a year and was lucky enough to attend some of the lectures myself. The St. Louis Chess Club really is like Disney World for chess players, and the YouTube channel is no different. Just like everyone has their favorite ride, everyone also has their favorite lecturer on this channel. Personally, I recommend Barakobian and Yasser Sarawan. If you agree with the list, uh, let us know in the comments below. Also, if you disagree and you think I missed a key pick or two, uh, let, let us know in the comments below. And uh, as always, if you enjoy this content and you would like to see more, go ahead and like this video, uh, throw us a subscribe. That would really help us out. We really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next top five video. Ouch. My king is a fighting piece though. Oh, I just got mated in the middle of the board. I thought night here I was gonna do this. I was getting fancy.